Deficit, they say, creates desperation. And where it involves housing in Lagos, with a flourishing population that swells by about 80 persons per hour, you can be sure it will be a big deal. Now, some persons, with the hope of getting decent accommodation in Surulere Axis of Lagos from some developers, are now regretting that decision. The fraud stars are nowhere to be found. Ebutemeta is a historic and commercial hub in Lagos, where the popular Onyibo market is located. Do you also know they once had a functional library? It's become a write-off, and the people have become worried by the situation. Also, we'll bring you the aftermath of the recent Lagos flood and the lessons as we engage the Environment Commissioner. Stay with us. I am Chris Elams. The rains are here, and Lagos Island recently witnessed one of the biggest flooding challenges in recent times. Victoria Island and communities along the coastal region were not spared. We visited Ogombo to see what life is like there now, and also got the Commissioner for Environment to share his experience on that day when the heavens opened up. Stay with us. The impact of the Lagos flood that besieged most part of Lagos Island has continued to generate interest as some communities along the Lekki Ekwe axis are yet to be completely deflooded. This is the major link road to Ogombo, one of the coastal communities completely over flooded. To get into the community, you must wade through this pool of water and when you eventually arrive, accessing your destination means more rivers to cross. The result is untold hardship for the people as their houses are flooded, cars damaged and even schools are not spared. Several drainage and canals in the area have either been built on or blocked by debris, therefore impeding the flow of water to the Kota River. Out of three mouths of that bridge, only one is functioning now because they cannot go to the remaining two. And at the same time, behind that uh, LSBC building in Lekki Scheme 2, I don't know if it is the government that gave those, that people their allocation. They just cover the water quarterly in order for them to be able to refill. The most they could do now is pull resources together to engage this swamp boogie to open up more routes for the water to flow out of the area. Armed with information on their plight, we visited the Commissioner for the Environment, Samuel Adijari, who said that over 400 millimeters of rain that Lagos experienced was an eye-opener to so many ills that residents in the Aleki Aja Axis were involved in. He shares his experience on that day. The rain met me along the Aleki Axis. You know, God has a way of doing these things. And because we are all, we're always proactive here, yeah. we had already planned that the resident associations, uh, association me, uh, uh, meetings that we are scheduled should be scheduled for that Saturday along that coastal area. Yes. At the quarters there, there were so many things. Most of why the Fed became so um, damning on us is, is, is because a lot of us acted irresponsibly. Like, look at um, Admiralty Way. It became so flooded that I can, I can say here that it had never happened like that before. And you know one of the things that caused it? The gardener at the junction of one of the streets there, the bowl he or she was using, and the tires they were using there to put their pots on, went into the demand hole and blocked it. I, I told my people, this should not happen here. Why? That's the lagoon down there. And we are up land here. What? So what's the problem? Eventually, we got to know that it was that man hole that was blocked. Coupled with the whip holes by the road, where those run off from the road should enter and enter the, uh, the big drain and take it to the lagoon. And the ball been blocked. 
So it's sometimes you, when we tell you these are setbacks, you are not supposed to be there. The importance of what is what we saw on that day. He said the state government was working on several fronts and would leave no stone unturned to ensure this issue of flooding was thoroughly arrested. We should learn to respect our drainage right of way and road setbacks. There can be issues if they are not respected. They were never created to house horticulturists. So they we are moving them away from there. We are moving them. There is no we have we have told they, they've been given some uh, notifications and we are going to move them. He claimed his visit to Ogombo and a subsequent meeting with the people exposed how culpable the indigents were who sold water channels and got some built up. I was there and I told them if our our grandparents there had done what they are doing now, would they get anything to sell? Just go there, sell anything. Even the drainage channels, you sell it. Wow. They came here, they owned up to the fact that they were telling them that those were the drainage channels. And nobody told us. We are going to make those channels, we are going to through them, we are going to make them patent again. If it passes through your land, you do what you want to do with it there. The main uh, river that carries all the foreign from the tenements of those of that area is the Kota River. Some people went to, to, to build drive, the, 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 the driveway to, and the, 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 by so doing, they dammed the river. So it contributed to what happened in Ogombo. And all those areas, Lekki Phase 2 was flooded. We are going to massively uh, dredge the Kota River, take all the nuisances and infringement on it, take them away. Respite appears to be in the offing for the people, but how soon that will be cannot be ascertained. The people will be delighted though to have their lives back to normal, armed with a bitter lesson that should shape how they relate with their environment.